Cool, so let's dive into a case study with a player of mine who is at the academy here. He's about 11 years old. He's been playing the game for probably four years and he's going through a huge growth spurt. In the last, I think, six months, he's grown three inches. So this kid has just shot up. Every time I see him, I feel like he's getting taller. Um, we actually used the gravity fit with him to, to work on a few backswing uh, pieces. He used to get to the top and his arms would be really narrow and they'd kind of collapse. Um, and so we actually put the gravity fit on him and, and the only feedback that I told him was when he got to the top I wanted him to try to keep the right band tight So he started to push against the club and as soon as he started doing that you started to improve contact The ball was going further. It was going higher. The way that you used it is exactly the reason why It's a learning device not a training aid because if you had the band and the band was forcing him was pulling him to be wide he wouldn't be learning anything but right if i was pulling this way now yeah. he's having to force the band away he's having to understand what muscles he's using but more importantly he's having to be aware of how he's doing it not just what he's trying to do so it's it's a great way to take it from explicit to implicit learning mm -hmm. so we used it with him in that manner but what we actually did was after about seven or eight balls he became pretty competent it became easier for him to do so we actually had him take his hands out and he had to try to replicate it without actually having to use the band so he would hit five balls with the band and then five balls without the band and then after he did that maybe two or three times i made him go to the putting green he had to make a 10 foot putt before he could come back and then he'd hit five balls without the band and then five balls with the band and the reason that he had to go and do the putt was to add a little bit more spacing to it as well as when he came back he had more time to forget what he was trying to do so when he hit those first five balls without the band, he went back, reverted a little bit to kind of what was comfortable, the old motor pattern. Um, and then by the last ball, you could see him kind of trying to find that. He was a little more deliberate in his practice swings. And then when he used the band, he started to pick up on it again quickly. For sure. And I think, Eric, as this player gets more awareness of what the movement is, those five balls ultimately become one ball. Mm -hmm. And then he's doing one rep, maybe taking his hands out, hitting a shot, then doing one rep, then going to the putting green, and then when he comes back, there's no reps with the gravity fit, and then he tries to hit it, and then he looks to you for feedback to say, was that the correct movement pattern? And the real answer, as you know, and everything that you guys do here is, you're not gonna tell him. Right. You're, gonna, you're gonna say, if you don't know, then you haven't learned it yet. Let's go through the circuit again. And when he actually has learned, what he's trying to do he doesn't need your feedback he doesn't need the gravity fits feedback he has this internal awareness of what he's actually trying to do and that's when he's able to retain and transfer the skill to the actual performance arena and that goes straight back to the conceptual model that we talked about with the closed loop elements in there the goal of the training aid is to provide the student basically a baseline for what they're trying to achieve and then when they perform the movement they assess kind of that movement, the feedback, the kinesthetic feedback, as well as things like ball flight, interaction with the turf, all that kind of stuff. And they can compare it to basically what they were doing with the, the drill with the bands. And that's how they can assess the error. So like Zach said, if they can't really assess any error, then they clearly haven't gotten the feedback that they need from the tool yet, or they haven't learned to associate the difference between the two movements. And in that instance, kind of go through the circuit again.